feel so much better now. Yesterday, I flew out to Washington, and today, in just a bit, we're gonna get ready and drive up to the Northern Terminus uh, and start from Hearts Pass. I am going to be hiking with my AT hiking partner, Dirty Duck. I haven't seen him in a long time, so I'm at his mom's house right now, and we're gonna be uh, heading up and hiking together. This is Dirty Duck. Hello. We'll be hiking together. We're uh, trying to get packed right now. It Got uh, all this bit of a mess up. here. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, we still have some some ways to go. <laughs> My duck nest. <laughs> Welcome to it. I think Chris. This is pretty cool. First. Uh, Drove most of the way to Slate Peak, which is up there, just past Hearts Pass. And it is so beautiful. I actually wasn't expecting to see snow again, but the different mountains out in the distance still have snow on them. And then over here on this side, there's snow down there as well. But this is the amount of snow that I could deal with. I'm so excited to get back on the trail. It's been a nice break. Duck and I finally made it on the trail. Here's Ooh. Duck. <laughs> Rocking his visors, making sure he didn't forget his phone. But I am so excited to be back on trail. <laughs> Still have a bit of a ways to get to the northern terminus and backtracking all this way, but that's how it goes. There's Duck's parents down there. They drove us all the way up here. They are so awesome. I can't believe how many wildflowers are here too. There were so many in the desert. I wasn't really expecting so many up here. There's so many colors. They're all different. This is just ridiculous. It's so pretty. Wow. <laughs> some monsters this morning we couldn't finish them so we're just gonna be hiking down the trail <laughs> drinking some monster so this is the first bit of fire damage that I'm seeing last year this section was closed it's a fire closure you couldn't walk through um, dirty duck had to skip the section and take the fire alternative route so this is his first time hiking it I'm really glad it's open now. So far this section has been so beautiful. But according to gut hooks, it looks like there's gonna be more up ahead. I guess we got to a bigger burn area. These are blackened trees. out some trail sushi instead of individual rolls it just turned into a big lump <laughs> well I definitely lost my trail legs since I've been off the trail my uh, tendons on my inner thighs are definitely bothering me they're uh, pretty painful we're trying to do 15 today I might could do 15 it's we did 10 miles before noon, but hopefully the next day or two, that'll, that pain will go away. It's like painful when I lift up my thighs. 
are my legs. Like, so going uphill is more painful. Otherwise, today's just been, like, really pretty. I met someone earlier who already made it to the border and back and told me to touch these. They're really soft. And they are. They're, like, silky soft. They're interesting. Like down feathers, but like yeah, they are sticky. Did you touch one? Yeah, it's yeah. like down, but like sticky down, but not like too sticky. I don't know. No, no, it's like smooth and silky. Just, yeah, just pet them. <laughs> Getting closer to some snow. It's like little uh, bits and pieces along the trail. We are su surrounded by marmots. They are all over the place. There's one there. There's one. Right there, just laying down. Looks like a guinea pig. There's a uh, one up there on that rock. They're all just chilling out. Yeah, there are different species in the ones in the Sierras. These ones are aren't orange. They're a lot smaller. Well, yesterday I definitely picked up a cold. Um, I don't feel so great. I'm like, gonna still move, but yeah, I just feel feel pretty cruddy right now. It was hard getting going this morning, and then I didn't sleep so well last night. Um, we're near kind of like a rock wall, and sometimes like a rock will fall down and make a ton of noise, and then. I had a mouse visitor that would go underneath my vestibule and run up my poles. They're holding up my tent. I was just like afraid it would chew a hole through my tent and get inside. We get to my food, I'm not sure. <sighs> well, we're 11 miles from the northern terminus. We'll get there today. Snow so close to the trail. How far none on the trail? the first time that the trail goes through snow. Picks up over there. So we can go around it or do you want to walk on the snow, Doug? Yeah. Let's walk on the snow just to do it. <laughs> Dirty Duck and I set up camp. I believe it's at Hopkins Lake. And decided to slack pack to the border six miles from there. So, or I think it's six and a half. So, it'll be a 13 mile sock pack. I definitely have a nasty head cold. My, uh, it's really busy. My head is like super stuffy. Like sore throat and just achy. Uh, not the way I want to start this trail. Or start the second part two of PCT for me. Uh, I'll still do it. I'll still get there. About two miles from the border, and the trail is just insanely overgrown. Just plowing through all these plants. Yeah, the last few northernmost miles of the PCT really need some maintenance. This is just ridiculous. My first glimpse of the border, you can see where it just cuts down through that mountain, that little gap there. All the trees are gone. They kind of clear it every few years. So that's got to be it. That straight line. Yeah. 
and continuing the long walk back the 30 miles where we came from. This time Sobo. Honestly, the trail is just so beautiful on the way here, and I really don't mind it. Wouldn't mind seeing everything a second time. But I definitely look forward to seeing trail that I haven't seen yet. These little patches of snow that we passed on the way down are noticeably smaller. They have definitely melted in the past two days. Well, yesterday when I was at the border, there's a uh, log book. You'd like sign your name and put some information down. I wasn't sure what name to put down. Um, on the Appalachian Trail, my trail name was Mishap. Now, when I started the PCT, I didn't want to go by mishap because I didn't want to have mishaps. That just seemed to be a reoccurring theme on the Appalachian Trail that I would just keep having mishaps. All this terrible stuff just kept happening to me. So I wanted to try to get a new trail name and I ended up getting Saucy Minx. So I had been going by Saucy Minx, but now that I'm hiking with Dirty Duck, he knows me as my... Uh, because I hiked with him on the Appalachian Trail, he knows me as Mishap, and is calling me Mishap. So, I'm not really sure. Should I go by Mishap or Saucy Minx? I uh, ended up writing Mishap slash Saucy Minx in the logbook. So, I think either of them. But, it's kind of conflicting. If I go by Mishap, the people, the first half of the trail, like, won't know that that's me. Uh, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. 